I forgot. I said I was going to be here at uh, 20 past 10 rather than the usual 11.45. <laughs> so, sorry, everybody. Uh, let me get the lights turned on so you can see my beautiful face. Uh, yeah, there we go. Yeah. <laughs> Hello. Welcome. Sorry. My cup is empty. Not wearing pants. Well. <laughs> um, yeah. Hi. Sorry I'm late. How is everybody tonight? Anybody stuck around? Um. <laughs> well, I'm here. Better late than never, right? <laughs> Well, if I have to get up, you know, I'll just do this, and then no one will be shell-shocked uh, by the horror. <laughs> ah. Well, actually, yeah, that's it. Um, I'm not here because I got uh, those miraculous driving pigs. They finally uh, caught up with me, and look. They tortured me. Oh, my God. They tortured me. <clears throat> uh, actually, this uh, this mug did have a little bit of uh, mermaid boot in it earlier. But I just realized it's empty now. Since I'm already late, I should just hop right into this. So what I was thinking about doing tonight... <laughs> yeah, more evidence than, than chili. Yeah. See? See? That's proof right there. Torture cuffs or something. <clears throat> well, it's a bruise. What do you mean? It's a bruise. So it's got to, it's, you know, you got to believe me, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got to believe me. <laughs> and yeah, it probably is in the wrong spot. So anyhow, unless someone has a more interesting topic that we should pursue, I was going to put up some uh, some captionless flapper fan cartoons. Oh, I'll put them up and then we can chat. And meanwhile, if people end up coming up with some good jokes. Let's see, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, I thought I had ten. Oh, yeah, I know what the tenth one is. So I have ten. So far, so we'll put up, we'll start putting them up, and then we can talk. So, yeah, the Flapper Fanny cartoons, I post one every Friday over at Shades of Grey. And some of them are either outdated, or I think last time, one of the times Stan was on here, uh, we were sorting through a few of them. And it struck me that, hey, I've got, a, I've got funny people here in my side chat. Maybe they can come up with some good jokes. We put them on the cartoon. We can post on Shades of Grey. They can get credit if they want it, but they can definitely get a free uh, something from Ulo Games, whatever they want. Because uh, that's the only thing I really have to give away. <laughs> Unless you can find me somewhere, then, you know, I can buy a drink or a lunch or something. Hey, Cap, welcome. Uh, you're right on time because I was late. <laughs> I was actually over at uh, Welsh News Network being flabbergasted by what I was seeing. Um, so I kind of lost track of time. Anyhow, uh, I should do this too in case somebody wants to come up and actually talk live to the assembly. Yeah, a chance of you finding me anywhere though. Carrie is kind of remote, since you're kind of remote, or I'm remote, depending on your, your vantage point. Nick, welcome, welcome. Oh, and I don't think you've been here since I've realized this, but if you try to if if you've tried to email me and you send it through the link, I don't know that it's getting to me. I think it's just going somewhere out mysterious. So. 
you need to type in the email address into your whatever program you're using and then email me that way steve miller mail at gmail.com at steve miller mail at gmail.com and let's let phil up here hello phil hey steve uh, how are you this fine evening i'm doing well and uh let's put up the first cartoon if people want to come up with a caption for you or a joke for it uh, if you've looked at, looked at the Flapper Fanny cartoons, you know that she has something sarcastic or witty to say, and that's the general format. You got you people are both witty and sarcastic in all things, so it seems like it should be right up everybody's alley. Uh, let's see if this will work for me. Doesn't seem to. Why not? That's because some idiot didn't do this first. And there we go. And there we go. And, yeah, nope, that didn't work the way it was supposed to. What the heck? All right, be that way, see if I care. There, okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, Nick, just some, one person had, and uh, it was something I needed to respond to, and I wasn't because, well, I didn't realize that it had even been sent because I wasn't seeing it. So there's the first flapper fanny one. I'm actually, I don't know what order they're in. I think they're ordered by whatever random name they were given. Uh, yeah. But yeah, so she's sitting on a dock in a swimsuit. There's a guy walking away or somebody walking away. Guy, gal, there's a foot. Oh, can't really see. Oh. How are you feeling, Carrie? Feel sitting in the garden. Hopefully, it's nice weather down there. Although it's fall to our spring, right? Something like that. But yeah, this is this is a drawing by Ethel Hayes. Uh, I don't know whether I took off the byline or whether it just wasn't one. Maybe it was too degraded, and I just dumped it rather than try to restore it. But uh, but yeah, the uh, I don't know what people do see on phones. Sore, but you'll live. Okay, well that's good. That's good. So what's new in your world, Phil? Working hard at getting more people to unsubscribe from my channel. I, I'm trying. I, I have a <laughs> campaign out on um, Rumble, but apparently nobody pays attention to that. So, <laughs> yeah, I don't usually pay much attention. But I, I when I went on to schedule this, I looked and went, "Wait a minute, that number looks way different than than I thought it was." And I looked and says, "Yeah, uh, thirty or so people just went bye bye." They don't love me anymore. Well, actually, I, said, I I think you need better quality guests. That's my opinion. <laughs> maybe it's me. Or maybe it's <laughs> they went. The guests are much better than that weird guy that is usually on here. That 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 radical views I have is just driving people away. I'm sorry. Yeah, let's let, let's figure out. Uh, let's figure out. Um, where their channels are. We'll go to them. Uh, all right, here. Stan is trying to think of a plenty of fish in the sea gag. Yeah. Maybe something about all wet. Be another possible approach. Uh, I'm trying to remember what the what the pun was originally maybe i should look that up no nah, that would ruin it we don't want to look at what we don't know what the original joke was it was outdated as i if i recall which is why i i decided to strip it so youtube might be doing it same as happened to you and other channels oh okay well that makes me feel better carrie thank you very much <laughs> nah you, you you may have had 
Uh, what I've heard is that YouTube is going through and getting rid of sock accounts. So you may have had people who had joined with a sock account. Oh. And if they're not interacting, then they're stripping them. That's what I had heard. But I'm not a YouTuber. So. Okay. Well, yeah, I don't know. Like I said, I just, I actually was, I was kind of laughing because I went, oh, okay, gosh, were they, were they upset that I was going frauding yesterday? Was that what, what made them all? All unhappy. <laughs> oh, I came up with the caption just because I saw the chat. Oh. I, I know what she's saying. Great. Dan's here. Is that a caption for the photo? <laughs> great. Da great. Great. Dan's here. I don't yep. know. Well, I'd have to edit the, the graphic and turn her smile into a frown, I would think, wouldn't I? <laughs> well, it looks like a frown on my phone, so. Oh, okay. Plenty of fish in the sea are like blobfish. What is a blobfish? I'm not educated enough for this crowd. Oh, well. <laughs> That is an interesting looking creature. Uh, yes. Welcome, Dan. We'll do this in case somebody else wants to come up. So plenty of fish in the sea are like blobfish. <laughs> yeah. uh, that is certainly true. And that's actually not a bad one. Uh, so, so far... Carrie may have this one. It will be filed away. Um, it take it takes twenty minutes for the jellyfish to work. Takes twenty minutes for the jellyfish to work. <laughs> <laughs> the cold water is just an excuse. <clears throat> <laughs> yes, Carrie, we, uh, we we cater to a very low class clientele here, and religious fanatics. <clears throat> but okay, yeah, lots of seeing the fish are jellyfish. Uh, it may not be the cold water. No, in fact, uh, the mermaids threatened to call the cops and have me arrested. <clears throat> so I'm afraid. I'm afraid that was once again a, a non-starter. Show show him the abuse. Oh yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. That's right. You weren't weren't here. See, I'm not taking advantage of. Uh, and the bruise was much wor worse earlier in the week. I should have been taking advantage of this and showing it off and saying, look, look, I was I was attacked. I was abused. I was tortured. Oh, my God. Uh, I'm afraid to answer that question. <laughs> All right. Anyone else have some brilliant thoughts as to what might be good caption for this? Or shall I move on to the next one? Oh, yeah. Hey, Kelly. Actually, that does look more like a mermaid, mermaid bite than anything else, doesn't it? So I... Oh, that's right. I should I should sue the International Mermaid Museum. One of their, one of their mermaids bit me. Yeah, that's right. That's exactly what happened. And if you throw in for exercising your First Amendment right, you can make it a civil rights lawsuit. Yes. Surely will help you. The mermaids tried to silence me and my First Amendment right by biting me. And all I was doing was filming in public. Just the tips of my toes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 
Uh, well, there you go. That's what happens. That's I am living proof not to piss off the mermaids. <laughs> All right, so we got some good suggestions. I have choices to make. Let's look at the next one. Oh, hell, I'm going to skip. I'll, I'll be... Ah, I'll stay in the ores, don't forget. Here's one. There she is on the job. Flapper Fanny. Did I put this one up there so it's easier to find? If I didn't, I just I did it right now. Um, and that's not for that one. That's for the previous one. And yes, it did, which means it's probably a good one. Good morning, Becca. If you have a good joke for this uh, or a good caption for this cartoon, by all means, throw it out there. Uh, if I end up using it on Shades of Grey, we will uh, uh, put it up on your, uh, I mean, you get a free thing from Mulo Games. Huge payment. Huge payment. And fame. We can't, uh, we can't, buy, we can't bypass the fame. Yes, basically... Every Friday, I put up a Flapper Fanny cartoon over at Shades of Grey. And generally, there is some, and they date from the 20s and 30s. So some of the humor is a little bit muted because they are referring to cultural pop, cultural, pop cultural stuff from back then or slang that is way out of date. And But some of the drawings are still nice. So there's about 30 of them I've got so far that I've got the captions off. Um, and I got like nine or ten of them tonight. I'm just gonna toss up there, and if people have uh, have a suggestion, uh, and but so yeah, basically some uh, some generally these cartoons have because it's flapper Fanny says, and then some sort of uh, joke or sarcastic comment or biting insult or something along those lines. Um, and in a right hand, in, in their offhand, uh, that's a towel, I think. It's a towel or a, a, a pillowcase or something, some sort of cloth. And in the other hand, there are jewels, it's the little flashy things. <laughs> <laughs> it's for the other one yep at least it's not an orange <laughs> at least it's not an orange yeah she'd be arrested for that uh, you must pay your tithe to the jelly god that would be uh yeah, we'll do a custom version. We'll, we'll give that to Welsh News Network. <laughs> uh, I thought they were mini skis. The things in her hands? Well, I suppose. Skis. What are... Oh my God, there are such things. I thought maybe it was a joke I wasn't quite getting, but there are things as such as things as mini skis, also known as snow feet or boot skis. Huh? <laughs> the things I'm learning tonight. Let's see. Why he's got makeup and jewelry. Not like you can beautify that. Yeah, good one. And here's another good one. Diamonds are an underpaid housemate's best friend. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, let's see. I think the original caption was something along the lines of um, a wedding ring is a man's ultimate silencer. I think what the, what the original caption was. 
and it's not a bad not a bad joke but um could be better and so that's why all these witty people are going to someone's jacket she's pickpocketing <laughs> yeah that could be true <laughs> jelly is like your jello yeah so we've got and what was it what, what did you say oh no you said the orange the orange thing two inside just kind of like the jelly god one no one's gonna get it except a very small band of crazies <laughs> these are both underestimate good, the small band of crazies <laughs> yeah that has cost many people dearly <clears throat> A moment of silence for them. <laughs> All right, so there's a couple. Wait another moment. But yeah, the uh, it was interesting to see you guys with that video with uh, with just that coincidental meeting that happened in Las Vegas, Dan and Becca shocking that they just happen to be in the same place <clears throat> completely unexpected <laughs> but it would make fun <laughs> all right so we got two good ones i have to choose between which one i like the best all right now this one i actually like the original joke on this but I'm just curious to see what people might, people might come up with. Uh, if they come up with something better. Oh, wait. This is a different one, isn't it? No, this is the one. Okay. Yeah. So middle girl is playing a saxophone. Then there's a drummer to her right and a trombone player to her left. No, no, it couldn't possibly have been. Some friend sent the tape over. <laughs> uh, yeah, there's that. It's kind of sad and tragic. But that's what he... So anyhow, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that is along the lines of the one that I thought of myself. Uh, the original joke on here was uh, something along the lines of, um, although her beauty is, uh, her beauty speaks for itself, the saxophone girl must always toot her own horn. Seemed a little long to me, and so you know, shorten it to uh, you know, always has to be two tone horn or something. But not married yet, so I need to practice pleasing my husband. I do like that one. Yes, Phil. Sex girls like to blow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's also close to what I was, one of the ones I thought of. So brilliant. <laughs> blow your own horn so something better comes along to blow. Yeah. <laughs> and Kara gave us a two parter. I played trombone in high school. Was really good with my mouth. Um. <laughs> I go along with Liz, and one time at band camp. <laughs> uh, these are all good ones. Um. It wasn't that big when I started. 
<laughs> Oops, I missed that one. That's what I want to click, click on. Let me impress you with my breath control. <laughs> And yes, I do know the movie. I have not actually seen it. I've seen clips, and uh, I'm not. Yeah. But I've yeah, I've seen that this type of Bandcamp reference enough to have to understand what it means. But yes, that is one of the films that I have not seen that everyone else on this planet Earth has. Um, There were sequels? Yes. Huh. Okay. Haven't seen those either. But I had the impression that it really was a film that didn't need... Well, lots of films they make sequels for don't need sequels. They probably shouldn't have sequels. Oh, you mean this? Well, I was bit by a mermaid while first amend, first first amendment auditing the uh, uh, International Mermaid Museum. See, my story changes as as people feed me lines. Uh, no, um, the true story of that bruise, and I have smaller ones on this arm over here somewhere. Can't, yeah, there we go. Can't quite see them, but yeah. So we can. Stick with that, but the truth is, uh, because no one's going to see this tape, so I can still file my lawsuit, even though um, I'm going to tell a different story here. I had a really bad bout with vertigo, and uh, it just wasn't stopping. So, yeah. Um, I went to the hospital. Uh, symptoms I described, they did a... Uh, a brain scan and put a lot put an IV in and did a because they had to put you know color or something in there to do the brain scan and uh, they had a hard time finding a vein and so basically ended up with, with a giant bruise when they finally when they finally did it uh, yeah turns out uh, I do have a brain in my head and I'm actually going to order the uh, uh, the scans to prove it and put them up here on YouTube one night because I think that would be funny. Now, of course, I've ruined the joke by telling everybody that I'm planning to do it, but oh well. Um, but yeah, but I think the mermaid bit me is a much better story. So I should probably just stick with that. But yeah, that's that's it right there. When girl, when the girls I blow, with, with the girls I blow the sacks, but with the boys, yep, another good one. You guys are. <laughs> the sax is my second favorite thing to blow. Oh, okay, that's another good one. This one, this one is getting everybody inspired. <laughs> yep, that's exactly it. I have now proved I have a brain. That's what I've been saying for the last last week, and um. That's like the heart attack last year. I can prove I have a heart now. <clears throat> ZXL Master can also prove he has a brain. Good, good. That conductor better preach my appreciate my saggy cheeks later in life. <laughs> Yes, the mermaid made the bite worth it. But I'm going to be, uh, you know, denying it all when when the lawsuit comes down. And I'll, so I'll be deleting this this stream off of uh, off of YouTube. So you guys better better you know save it. <laughs> um. Yes, yes, I do. 
I'm going to have to engineer that somehow. Hmm. The brain scan once. The technician said nothing there. Okay. <laughs> Uh, let's see. And there was one more joke here. The band leader says, if I can handle a double read, he's got some side work for me. <laughs> <laughs> oh. But yeah, if you have details on how the mermaid made it better, you know, made it worth my while, by all means, uh, be sure to let me know so I can elaborate my story. Oh. It was assault. You were just filming her. It was assault. But the yes. police wouldn't press charges. <laughs> the the tridents. Uh, I'm not sure whether Smitty is talking about mermaids biting me or whether he's suggesting that as a caption for the cartoon. All right, so that's a lot of good ones for that one. Those would be some hard ones to choose from. Um, so let's go. So then there's this one. Um, original joke under this was the loudspeaker is often in front of the microphone. No, that's okay pun, but the fact that she doesn't look like she's speaking is what, uh, you know, made me think it doesn't work. Shouldn't have tried to take the mermaid's bottle of wine. <laughs> I don't know if you, did you see that clip, uh, Liz? I was kind of, I was actually surprised <laughs> to notice that that statue had a bottle of wine in, it, in his hand. Make, makes perfect sense given where it's located, but oh, I basically I like the joke. I just don't. I just don't like it with that particular drawing. Uh, that just to me, it looks more like singing than than talking. So the joke is good. The joke should be used somewhere. But I don't know that it uh, that it works for that cartoon. I mean, I'm always willing to have my mind changed. Uh, I had to take the, the original caption of this one anyway because when I was trying to clean up the art, uh, the caption became illegible. Uh, And as it is, the microphone is a bit fuzzy. But I think I did as much as I could to get this clear. So, but... Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Be swaying between singing and acting. Yeah. <laughs> True story. Uh, I was, I believe, in my early 40s when it finally dawned on me what that ZZ Top song was about. I probably shouldn't admit that, but... Yes, I didn't realize until I was on a long car drive playing the best of ZZ Top on CD in the car, and that song came on, and I was listening to it, and I mean, really listening to it for the first time, and went, oh, they played that on the radio? So we got... Yeah, actually, I've been getting to ask, for you, ask you guys what your favorites were. I should, be doing that. I should have been doing that. Um, so we got one for Nemo's joke. Oh, I got to see another one here. 
one for Liz's. And announcing the back room party will begin after this set of songs. There's a third one. Anybody else? Oh, yeah, there's that one. Yeah, I go. I I go with Nemo. <laughs> yeah, that's what clued me in, uh, Nemo. It was. Wait, what does that mean? She's not talking about. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 Uh, I'm also the guy that in the first draft of, draft of a uh, ah, what the hell was the line? Stan was one of the, I believe he was one of the two editors who who was subjected to this. Uh, I wrote a line that was an unintentional double entendre, and. Ah, crap. What was the line? Joke doesn't work if I don't remember the line. Oh, well. Um, <laughs> I, wrote, I wrote unintentional intentional double entendre. The editor, you know, said, uh, you know, pointed out to me what it was and said, fix this. And I said, oh, yeah, okay. And so I went back to my desk and I fixed it. Then I sent it over. And... Uh, and I think it was Stan that called me into his office or to his desk, or maybe we were all, all Miranda's. I can't remember at this point. But so point out the line to me and said, yeah, yeah. Fix it. He said, read it. And so I read it. I said, okay. Oh, yes. There it is. There it is. Okay. The background of the, of the story is that um, this one type of dragon uh, – basically has a soulmate out there. Soulmate can be anything, elf, human, porcupine, I suppose. But she had met her soulmate, and he'd rejected her because she was a dragon. And now they're in the same general vicinity, and she could feel him out there. And my line, like Stan put up there, the line I wrote, referring to the fact she could feel the love out there, somewhere out there nearby. She could st still feel his love throbbing inside her. I didn't recognize what I had written. <laughs> So I go back to my desk. I look at okay. <laughs> I take out the word throbbing and thinking it's fine. She could still feel his love inside her is what I came up with. <laughs> Actually, no, wait. No, no, no. That was the draft I did. And then I said, no, that's not good enough. Then I changed throbbing to, oh, Stan just beat me to it. Then I changed the throbbing to pulsing which I thought was an improvement. <laughs> it, it, <laughs> like Carrie says, it just gets worse. And uh, then I think I went back, then I'd have to go back, find a copy of the book and see what the, what that ultimately ended up reading. But it might just have been a sentence without either pulsing or throbbing inside her, or I, she could still feel his love nearby or something like that. It made it more clear. It was a, it was a psychic thing. <laughs> supposed to be all romantic and shit for crying out loud perverts <laughs> but, yeah <laughs> then, 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 then this caption should be Steve I can still feel your pulsating love <laughs> <laughs> I can still feel his love <laughs> pulsing inside me <laughs> uh, The more I look at this, the more I hear Celine Dion. <laughs> and I think I've mixed some quotes. Uh, actually, you would probably um, ruin my innocence completely if you would have told, if you would have, would have told me that. And yes, yeah, Stan and I have known each other since uh, 95, I think. Maybe 96, somewhere in there. Uh, we've worked together at a couple of different companies. Um, 
Now, let's see. Here we go. Her good looks got her the part. Unfortunately, it was on the radio. <laughs> I like that one, too. Um, God, you guys are coming up with good lines. It's nice my faith in you was uh, was, was justified. <clears throat> so, yeah, she could still... And that does work as a caption here, so maybe we should, maybe that's the one. <laughs> uh, let me scroll back down. Yeah, yeah, I'm actually I'm pretty sure that that's what it ultimately ended up being because it was inside her is what made it. In fact, I think you can make anything fall apart by adding that to the end of a sentence. <clears throat> Or it's like in bed, add in bed to the back of anything, and uh, it's something bad. <clears throat> and hey, Surrender Monkey, welcome. All right, so we've got three good choices. We've got two that each has one vote each from the audience. So, oh, I can see, hmm, I think I just have something I've got to retouch. Let me see if I'm right. And you know what? I should have probably done this from the beginning. So we'll make the art a little bigger so you guys can see it better. Uh, nah, that's okay. That works. <laughs> yeah, I probably could have written that line. Um, and it would have still gotten the same reaction from, the, from my perverted editors. <laughs> Actually, I'm very glad that they caught that because... Uh, To this day, I'm still not sure whether the writer was trying to pull one or not. But this was the name a writer gave a character in the story. I'm going to put it in the chat here. This, this is what I saw as I was reading that book for continuity purposes. Make sure it fit with the rest of the world. So this was a character's name. Can anyone see why I suggested that name need to be changed? And was it just me or was that an unfortunate name? Yeah, okay, I'm glad it was just me, because I actually did show it to someone at, at, at the time. And uh, his first reaction was, what do you mean? And I just said, look, don't you see what that is spelled backwards? And yeah, I'm pretty sure it was not an accident. Um, it's the sort of things writers do to tease their editors, I think, or see if anyone's paying attention. Um, I was, For me, I was just surprised, because it was sort of a top list author that was playing stupid games like that because um, love was always vibrate my heart's batteries not included yeah <laughs> I didn't think I was this drunk Steve <laughs> actually I should probably go back and I don't even copy the novel anymore. So I can't even see whether it got changed or not. And I don't, I don't recall. So okay, so there's three good choices, four good choices actually. Yep. <laughs> yep. <laughs> oh my gosh. Then there's this one. I don't even think I had a caption on this one originally, if I recall. Um, a couple of, couple of young girls looking at a cowboy, or a couple of flappers looking at a cow, cowboy.
Ah! Wrangler butts drive me nuts. <laughs> I like that one. I think somebody's overcompensating with the hat. <laughs> somebody's overcompensating. Yes, I like that one too. Someone is overcompensating with the hat. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I just bought something. What is that? Uh oh. Uh, of course, I screwed up by clicking on the wrong thing. Let's get this back so I can see what's going on. Girls like cowboy style. <laughs> Those chaps look better on me. Uh, let's see. Let me get this so I can take a look at something. Yeah, little artifact I need to get rid of there. I have to remember that. Hats, feet, and noses. I don't get it. He's hogtied my heart. Ah, these are all a bunch of good ones again. Oh, I don't get it, Carrie. I don't get it at all. <laughs> I'm joking. All right, see you later, I hope. Hey, cowpoke. Got a long little doggy. <laughs> uh. Some of the some of the some of the original captions from the twenties actually are sort of double meanings, a little bit along the lines that uh, that you guys are throwing out there. Uh, not quite <laughs> to the degree that these are, but I'm loving them, and this is going to be a super hard choice. All right, ZXL, thank you for stopping by. Ah, okay. Okay. So... Anyone else have a great one to throw out there? If not, they'll move on to the next one. and flap and more could a girl want no I figured I'd have to do some research uh, but I'm a little uh, gun shy when it comes to googling while doing this <laughs> Oh, come on, Steve. Get back on that horse. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. Uh, let's see. Well, let's see. I will look it up, and if I'm getting to getting... But I won't put it on the screen, damn it. I won't make that mistake again. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, well, that didn't get me anything. Oh, unless it, okay. Yes, you add up. You add up by the, uh... yeah, that was pretty much where, <laughs> yes, Kelly, that is what I got back. <laughs> But I'm assuming that's not what you were you were referring to. Uh, do you go to Spur? The only thing. <laughs> Actually, no, Nemo. It was a little bit worse than that. <laughs> okay. It's a method of inches from the late 1960s. I will, yeah. I know, I know, I know. You're the only person that wasn't trying to be, uh, um, given dirty puns, and you, uh, <laughs> I forced her to be naughty. Yes, I guess I did. Um, <laughs> My apologies. <laughs> These are, again, you guys are all giving me good ones. I wonder if he rides like he rides. <laughs> oh. Yeah, maybe I'll just have to use right now, just so. Uh, you guys can get a sense of how dedicated I am to the Flappy fa Flappy Flapper Fanny project, or how you might life, depending on how you want to look at it. How good I'm at procrastinating things I should be doing. Shades of Gray. There are Flapper Fanny cartoons scheduled every Friday through um, the end of April, uh, 2016. So if I get hit by a bus tomorrow. Flapper Fanny will continue on at Shades of Grey for another three years. For 2016? Yep. And right now, April. Seven, seven years in the past? Oh, God damn it. 2026. <laughs> 2026 is what I was trying to say. <laughs> yeah, whoops. Well, yeah. Lay off the mermaid juice. <laughs> yeah. I wish there was mermaid juice in here. Because <laughs> I'm thirsty. <laughs> She's a politician. <laughs> uh, let's see. Yes, like Stan said, 2026. Yeah, and I've still got uh, a couple of hundred that I've yet to go through. So this could keep going and going and going. The strip ran originally from 1925, I believe, through 1943. So there, and it was daily, so there are tons of them. Except they got kind of bad toward the end. Uh, they changed the format, and it wasn't as good. So, okay, next one. You guys just came up with a whole bunch of good ones for this. This is going to be hard, or maybe we'll put them all up. <clears throat> this one, actually, um, uh, the original caption, and she, there's a, a couple of these, different drawings, same caption. I get the pun. I just don't think it's very funny, and if you guys disagree with me, uh, and then I'll, you know, use it with the original caption. And I'm still not quite done retouching this either. I can see now looking at it on the bigger screen, um, or cleaning it up rather. But, uh, yeah, exactly. Um, brunettes don't believe 
all is fair in love. Uh, and it's a pun off blondes versus brunettes. Blondes being fair. To me, it's not a very funny joke. <clears throat> and Surrender Monkey, that's to the one that the cowboy one. Or this one, I suppose. It could work, too. Yep. Actually, Liz, you're a genius because, uh, uh, God, a year ago now when I was doing weekly coffee reviews, I actually had this one slated. This is actually the one that started the whole Flapper Fanny bit for me. Um, I came across this one while just looking for cartoons of women drinking coffee to use to illustrate. Uh, are the articles and I found this one and I was going to use something very similar to this similar bleh, very similar to this as a new caption on it <coughs> but then I got tired of doing the coffee reviews I want to love with coffee uh, no I'm well I still drink it I just the the joy of writing the reviews was just not there anymore so I so I moved moved on to other things and so the horse race is that one okay <laughs> um well yeah and it would fit with the uh brunettes don't think all all is fair in love and that was a joke stan it's a pun off of that i think coffee tea or me and that you may not speak to me now. I'm on my first cup. Yep. Cake or death. <laughs> well, let's see. What else? Did I miss one up here? I think I may have. That could be a caption to the drawing. Friend of Monkey's one up there too, just uh, wasn't even in a horse race. Oh, of course. That actually, okay. I get it. I like it. It's, I had not looked at the hat that way. But now, <laughs> but now I get it. <laughs> oh, look at that, Smitty. <laughs> uh-huh yeah <laughs> did the last drop Shh, it's coffee time Silence, I kill you. <laughs> yeah, I think he might. <laughs> <laughs> or this is another one where I've got to uh, run it several times with, with, the, with different jokes underneath. <laughs> No finger sands. No fingers and. No th well, Hardest was smart drawing it this way. Didn't have to worry about drawing the fingers accurately. That's a hard. Those are hard to draw. Um, Smitty has another good one. A cup of tears of my enemy. Yeah. <laughs> Frotted or tears of my cup. Yeah. <laughs> you said fraud is your tears in my cup? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no finger sandwiches. Okay. No finger sandwiches. Yeah. Uh, 
gosh, you guys are good. <clears throat> she never drinks more than one cup at home. That's actually another running gag in this that uh, in the series. Women will be light eaters until you have them until you're buying for the dinner. Is a, re is a recurring joke on several of the uh, Flapper Fanny cartoons, which all are written and drawn by women. <clears throat> um, I like the tears in my cup. Yep. The tears on my enemy keep me going. Yeah, I think the tears on my enemy ones are going. Something like that is going to be, be used. Okay. Any others for this one? Or is this the end of the line? Nope, not the end of the line yet. And there's one other one I got to go digging for. I forgot to move it into the folder. Um, it's actually a scan made from an original, uh, uh, an, ori an original drawing. So oh, might never have seen print. I don't know. I haven't been able to find a print version of it. So, just be careful which picture you're moving from yeah. which one. Just saying. Yep, 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 yep. Oh no, I keep. Oh wait, about to overshare there. No, I'm not joking. Yeah, no. <laughs> um, I don't know how those got on my computer. They were air gap there. No, they were there when I bought it. No, they were. Yeah. <laughs> right. Um, was it you? It was a used one. I don't know. I don't know how they got yeah. there. Dell did it. <laughs> right. Um, why drink the coffee when all you really want is a little creamer? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Suits her glare. Yeah, the the nose to finger sandwiches. Yep. Uh, got some. I was gonna. I was gonna go with. What do you mean? Only one cup. What do you mean? Yeah. <laughs> Got some cream for my coffee. Yep. These are all good. You guys are fantastic. <clears throat> all right. Although I'm still inside laughing at uh, Surrender Monkeys one. I wasn't even. I wasn't even. In, was not even in a horse race because I'd not seen that in that drawing <laughs> until until that very moment. <clears throat> um, let's see. What's the next one? Oh, yeah, this one I almost didn't include. Um, yeah, she's cleaning the house. She's looking at a sign on the wall, uh, which says, um, love thy neighbor or love your neighbor. Should it be love thy neighbor? Um, the original joke was uh, not bad, a little bit of long winded, but um, uh, what was it? Uh, oh yeah if some people loved their neighbor like they love themselves they'd kill them with kindness uh, or they die from kindness something along those some, some, something along those lines uh, and I'm not sure I'm not a <laughs> so and out of the drawings I think this is also one of the eh, ones it's not terrible it's just not uh, people should stop loving their neighbors like they love themselves then i'd have less to clean up <laughs> yeah <laughs> ah love your neighbor well his wife is out of town for the week <laughs> I like it. Um, so that's why the guys always have a poker night. <laughs> These house rules are strange. Love your neighbor. Yeah. Must be Mormons. <laughs> yeah, must be the Mormons. <laughs> Uh, 
All right, Kelly, thanks for coming by. Thanks for contributing. Uh, thanks for corrupting me. <laughs> uh, have a good day tomorrow. I, I, by the way, I'm adding that on to Surrender Monkeys. Uh, these house rules are strange. Well, that, They're strange. They they must be Mormons. Oh, they must be Mormons. Okay. <laughs> Let's see. Love my neighbors as I love myself. I don't want to make the Joneses abuse themselves. <laughs> Oh. Mr. Smith always hangs one of these when he drops by for a visit. Uh, yeah, let me see. This one I'm zoomed in too close, aren't I? Let's just zoom out a little bit. Or not. That's weird. Oh, because oh, that's right. This is a high res. Forgot. It actually is the actual size of that image. <laughs> um only I could read. <laughs> Wait, that's not poster seven. Uh... <laughs> oh, these are also good. Um, did I put this one up there? No, I think. I really think, well, his yes. wife is out of town this week. <laughs> oh, my God. I want to read poster seven now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you, you just keep getting better and better with this one, Stan. But we live in a cul-de-sac. <laughs> Uh, That's just a policy. Yeah. <laughs> I do not understand what that means, and I'm probably good for it, or lucky for that. <laughs> uh, all right. Oh, that's a that's a good one too, actually. Yeah. Man, Liz and Stan are just lighting the place on fire. We should like book a date for them somewhere at a night's club. <clears throat> oh. <laughs> it's rough to follow the rules when you live next door to the Adams family. Yeah. <laughs> oh. All right, next one. Yeah, next one. And this is just a cute picture of her holding a baby. Aww. Uh, hopefully it's the kind that comes in a can and not the kind that uh, is dwarvish in nature. <laughs> um, so, yeah, there we have... Uh, I think the original caption was... Oh, what was it? I forget. Uh, it wasn't terrible. I just wasn't a big fan. Let's see. Uh, oh, it's not in this folder. Okay, well, I will never know. Whoops. The DNA test states you are not the father. They went on the 
Mori Povich show. <clears throat> yeah. Care if we don't catch one of these. The Jelly God's first immaculate conception. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> but was it was it alpha meat, Becca? That's what I want to know. Was it alpha meat? Well, if it was, it certainly wasn't chili. <laughs> <laughs> Some joke about smells. Or this one. Can I give it back now? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, did I click on this one? I like this one too. It's bouncing baby. Oops. <clears throat> <laughs> it eats what? <laughs> Want to help me make one of my own? <laughs> if I hold it far away enough, maybe someone else will do a nappy change. Yeah. You had one, Phil, or you're just breathing in? <laughs> yeah, we had breathing stands. I like that. Is it supposed to smell like that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Ah, yep. Is it supposed to smell like that? <laughs> I don't know. Right now I'm torn between. Is it supposed to smell like that? Can I give it back now? And want to help me make one of my own. Oh, the Bouncing Baby Oops is good as well. Care if you don't catch one. These are all good. You people are... God, you people are funny. Yeah. <laughs> not the dress. Not the dress. <laughs> yeah, the one time this character doesn't seem to be wearing a short skirt... She's got a baby on her lap that can stain her dress. <laughs> Baby's hungry, yeah. <laughs> Where's the food? <laughs> I was going to say uh, hashtag save Skyler, but that's a really oh. inside baseball. Oh, joke, yeah, so. yeah. The dispenser is out. <laughs> Baby, the taller look at the long legs. Yeah, but it's got these pudgy arms. Maybe, uh, maybe Miss Hayes just couldn't ba draw babies. <laughs> I'm still loathed on these diapers. <laughs> oh. Dummy. Wanker. Don't get it, that one. Let me contemplate it for a moment. Oh, the baby's a dummy? Hmm, yeah. <laughs> These are 100 year old drawings, give or take a few years. Oh, of course, Liz. Of course. Yeah, all right. Now it makes a little more sense. Ferners. <clears throat> 
Who's a dummy, you wanker? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> kitchy, kitchy, ew. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, this is a good callback to earlier in the evening. <laughs> this is why I wanted a pearl necklace. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Maybe do a day with, with two of them on the same day and have the scene one with the one of the pearl necklace captions and uh, and this one teamed with it or paired with it rather. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh this is this is, this is why I want to <laughs> those are equally funny <laughs> oh my ah, again so many good choices Yeah, actually, as I was looking at this here, I I wasn't thinking vampires, but I was actually wondering whether I should get rid of the the, uh, the bow from her shoulder that kind of looks like wings, like you said. But I was thinking I was thinking more fairy. Yeah, but it's such a minor thing that I don't know. But they actually have always kind of seemed a little distracting to me. Uh, I mean, I understand why they're there, but, and again, like I've said to, said elsewhere, I'm not really trying to necessarily, you know, replicate these exactly as they appeared. So, uh, oh, that's a meal here. Yeah, maybe there's a vampire joke in there. I don't know. I have to think about that, too. Here's another good one. I had a doll like this when I was a little girl, only a lot less gross. Yeah. <laughs> oh. That's not blood. Oh, actually, I haven't put this one up there for uh, for a bit, so I guess I should do that just in case somebody wants to. Well, the side chat is the place to be tonight to give us your jokes. Well, oh, that didn't work. Why did that not work? My chat frozen again. Oh, no, there it is. I can make you eternally young. What do you say? <laughs> So it's the baby from, uh, was it Anne Rice? Yeah, Interview with a Vamp. Was it Interview with a Vampire that had the yeah. little girl vampire in it? Yeah. <laughs> and then there's this one. Kind of like the original caption, so maybe I'll, I'll put it back in, but I think maybe if, you know, throw it out to the, to the folks, see if you guys have a, a better suggestion or a better one. Uh, the original caption was, uh, even, uh, even, back, ev even back in the days of royalty, there were roughnecks. She's wearing a rough neck, <laughs> haha. <laughs> ah! Yeah. Oh, chilly self-portrait again. Chilly self-portrait. <laughs> okay, I want to find the one that triggered this whole uh, exercise, so I can get you guys to be funny about that. Just need to find it because it's not in the right folder. Hmm. <sighs> <laughs> yeah. Well, 
let's see here. Where is it? Oh, well, we can add this one. Ruffles coming back in style. <laughs> yeah. Uh, da, 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 da. Oh, wow, where did that one go? in the wrong folder of course it is you were hacked and it was sent out to five of your friends and now it's all over the internet yeah <laughs> i told you to stop leaving your phone at walmart yeah. wait you think i'm shuggy now <laughs> <laughs> Jeremiah. <laughs> oh, has he done that too? Or suppose supposedly he had some pictures of of him and uh, Sam Squatch, and um, uh, his phone was hacked, and then uh, mysteriously sent from Sam's phone to the contacts, and now they're floating around the internet. Ah. Uh -huh. Because that's what people who grab your cell phone do. Yeah. From those two. Yeah. Jeez. Like a hacker would go, oh, yeah, let's use them. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I copied the picture, and it's still not here. What the heck? Huh. Well, let's... I'm, losing the great jokes over here they say great aunt isabel had a hickey problem yep <laughs> that's a good one so glad we have hvac now otherwise i'd have to wear stuff like that <laughs> i like liz as i told him to meet me under the scary lady yep oh maybe i, maybe I skipped that one i saw it looked at it and i laughed didn't put it up there, but yes, that's another good one. Oh, so the story has changed from being hacked. Apparent for surrender monkey. This <laughs> is rough to attract mates or warn off predators. It's another good one. <laughs> oh my, no wonder a blondes have more fun. I don't. I don't think it's evolved, Surrender Monkey. I think he added detail. It was I was hacked, but then he got hacked because he left it in the Walmart bathroom, and he claims it was an employee of Walmart who did it to him because he was banned from Walmart. So he's just trying to make it more dramatic. It's even goofier. <laughs> yeah, the whole thing is stupid. <laughs> Great Grandma was completely against necking. <laughs> Let's see, maybe it's here. Uh... Ah, there it is. Okay, great. Now this will, so now there's going to be 11 to look at, just two more, and then. Uh... I will have to go back over the stream and pick the best ones and then see what prize you guys want. 
Oh hell, I'll give I'll give a free book away to everybody that's in that's been in the stream. Cause everyone has been everyone's been damn funny. It's gonna be a hard choice. Or I'll do it use them all. Uh let's see, did I miss any Right, Nemo. What? Oh Nemo. So the account yeah. was the account was stolen, Google account was hacked, but picture on her phone. So it's all oh yes. Okay, it's perfectly clear. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I was always confused how it went from his phone to Sam's and then her her contacts, but yeah, the Google. Yeah, I forgot about that. Yeah. See, this is actually what I was saying that yeah, because that's what hackers would do. And that was somebody with that stole your phone would just use it to post pictures no they would want something more useful out of that i would think maybe i just hang out with the wrong with the wrong crowd i i hang out with the wrong hackers uh i don't know any hacker that would go oh yeah those two yeah, <laughs> yeah, <I'm> just... <laughs> yeah. all right so those are some very good ones for that one as well um actually puns on rough that are better than the original pun and uh oh <laughs> ah! is the caller keep her from licking her stitches yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the, the collar of shame yeah, <laughs> this is hilarious <laughs> Oh my, you people are funny. And this one, uh, I believe the original caption, oh, I meant to get rid of that line there. Oh, too late now, I guess. Well, I can still get rid of it. Um, the, the original caption was, uh, um, a, a lady keeps her cards close to the vest or something along those lines um i just use it when i was starting the just i like the drawing and so didn't like the joke like the drawing so i use this as the um sort of starting point of the flapper fanny post series this was uh so just it had a little bio post had a little bio of the three creators of the series over the years and uh, then just this as a little portrait of, of uh, the main character of the series. Um, and oh, Stan has one more for the rough one. Oh my, what were they trying to keep her from licking? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Part of me is thinking that Nemo has this one. But <laughs> there were some other very good ones here. Uh, That one, that one, those, okay, once again, you guys are just too damn funny. So there's that little portrait. Ah, oh, there's one. Go fish, dear. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wait, I should do this, yeah. But yeah, can you put put this one back in the flapper fanny says environment. Put the logo on the top. Get rid of this stray line here. Yeah, she's going fan dancing. <clears throat> see what's happening or maybe not huh 
There we go. That's what I needed. Where is it? There it is. Okay. Hmm. Look, dear, my my Kama Sutra deck came in. <laughs> <laughs> I stared long enough till they do their own tricks. <laughs> oh my gosh, again, you guys are being funny. I like it. <laughs> oh. Let's see. Yeah, I don't have anything funny for that one, other than, like I said, the original caption, which was, eh. <clears throat> All right, next one. This will be the last one of the evening. Oh, uh, oh. good girls only play gin. Good girls only play gin? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> Surrender Monkey has that one. Well, has, has one. Oh, three more. Good girls only play gin. Uh, Tara reading isn't working right. Oh dear, it wasn't strip poker. <laughs> <laughs> oh, here we go. A geek joke. With Nemo. I tap three mountains and cast fireball. <laughs> 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 and Stan. I don't hold all the cards, just the ones worth keeping. Actually, that's one that would that Sounds like it might even be off off uh, one of the originals. Um, these are all very nice. All right, and then there's one more, and this is one like I said, I haven't been able to find a published version of it. So, yeah. Yeah, with the one Stan comes up with, you almost think he was some sort of professional cartoonist or something. So, yes, this one here, scanned from an original piece of art. I don't, like I said, I haven't been able to find, find the, uh, if there's a published version of it. It's another card one, so just kind of coincidental that both the ones that weren't in the right folders. Did I just make myself bigger? Oh, yeah, Phil. Phil decided to bail. Or did I just boot Phil? Oh, he's back. And expand the screen. Did I, boot you, did I boot you, Phil? No, I was trying to uh, expand the picture on my phone. Oh, okay. Uh, let me see. I can make this even bigger. I think so. But yeah, this is an original piece of art. You can see they pasted in Flapper Fanny up here. Copyright status from 1925, so it's from the early years of the strip. But as I said, this one I have not been able to find one. That uh, let's see if I can uh, make it bigger. So you can't see it. Is what I'm under. Is what I'm hearing. So let me. See. I can see it now. It's fine. Oh, okay. And I can't make it bigger. Weird. Huh. Well, it's not from what. There's your caption. I can't make it bigger. I can't. <laughs> Uh, yeah, the drawing has her. She's got a handful here. It looks actually a pretty damn good hand. Two aces. Uh, and, yeah, so probably has a good hand. Uh, but, yeah, he's he's holding one her, her hand here, and this guy's looking at his hand unhappily. She's looking over her shoulder or something. And Stan says, oh, well, yeah, first, let me acknowledge this one. I see a pearl necklace in my immediate future. In your immediate future. Yeah. <laughs> I can't play my hand while you're holding my hand. That's a good one. <clears throat> uh... 
So now something about a, a a good hand in each hand, or you're holding a winning hand. It's not always the it's not always the hand that is holding yours that's the winning one. Um, now you see why I don't uh, come up with these myself, for the most part. <laughs> uh, I'm down to my slip already. Can we just meld already? Um, off with his head next. <laughs> yeah, off with yeah, Queen of Hearts. Off with his head next. But the other the other player doesn't have anything other than his head. Yeah. <laughs> we can still hear and smell them, Donna. Probably uh, don't want to think about that one too hard, but I can't help myself. Um. <laughs> Am I doing this right? Oops, I skipped one. I don't recall the rules saying anything about clothes coming off when you lose a rubber and bridge. <laughs> <laughs> Am I doing this right? <laughs> Oh, what is the game? It's yeah, it's bridge where you're paired, right? Well, there's lots of games where you're paired, but yes, yeah, most commonly. Yeah. So there's probably a bridge joke, or maybe there was supposed to be a bridge joke. <clears throat> yeah, I don't play bridge, so I don't know. Um, yeah, neither do I. So I couldn't even formulate one. But I'm wondering if that was what this was intended for. Um, the winning cards don't matter if you can't play the hand. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'm just trying, just trying to think of the one that they're always playing in uh, in Agatha Christie novels and things. Yeah, I think we're playing the dumb, <laughs> the dummy hand. Yeah, <laughs> I think we're playing the dummy hand. Yep. Um, uh, I got a joke at the tip of my tongue and I just can't seem to formulate it. Um, Playing the winning hand. Uno is a paired game? Can be. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, I think... It has actually, has, the last card games I played um, were uh, Vampire, the Vampire card game. I think that was the last card game I actually played. Um, and, uh, yeah, I haven't played a real card game in, in even longer. We play a lot of cribbage. Cribbage? Okay. Yep. This isn't a hand, it's a foot. Okay. We're playing gin rummy, not gin rub me. <laughs> Only good girls play gin, poker. Yeah. 
only we were playing spades, we'd have a shot at winning, dear. <laughs> <laughs> Yep, that's the one. Uh, we were playing it when it came out as Jihad. We all had piles and piles and piles and piles and piles of cards. I still have... I probably still have a big pile of them, although I, I can't remember if I gave a bunch of them away or if I just tossed them in the in the bin last time I moved. Um, or I maybe I shifted them to another, another house. Uh, but I was thinking about just dumping them, so I don't know what ultimately happened. I have to go digging around in the in the closet uh, to see whether that box is still in there or not. But yeah, I just figured no one's played the game for a long, long time, and I still had all these cards, and they're just taking up space. Uh, and it's, I'm assuming they're value they're they're valueless. Now someone's going to tell me that they're worth thousands and thousands of dollars, <clears throat> um, and you're going to make me cry. Uh, let's see. Okay, so we've got a few good ones for this one as well. Um, wow. You guys, I already knew you were funny, but you can actually be funny on, on, on you know, on command when, when given a topic. So, yeah, yeah, I had... A bunch of the jihad cards and a, and a bunch of the vampire ones. <laughs> There's another good one. Should we only play 52 card pickup? Yep. <laughs> All right. Um, yeah. Uh, gosh, so here's what I would like you guys to do if you don't mind give me one second I'll just pull it up thousand one what I was giving you a second I said a thousand one oh, oh okay <laughs> <laughs> one Mississippi how's that all right much better <laughs> it's it's Thrilling moments like this that are that made people unsubscribe from the channel. Um, I'm, I'm I'm learning how to be a YouTuber from you, Steve. I'm soaking it all in. <laughs> um. Uh. Okay. Well, I won't have any competition that way. That's good to know. Yes. Use me as your example. <laughs> uh, here we go. I told I told you earlier you inspired me to audit a peach orchard. So yeah, um, if you do that, I'm gonna you gonna have to give us heads up so we can go go uh, go learn from your example. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, let's see. So this right here, the link I'm gonna put in the side chat. Hopefully, it's a live link. That is one of, oh, I left something on. Well, no, this works. That's one of the places where all the new little games, uh, comic book collections, role-playing game booklets, uh, or anthologies, comic anthology, role-playing game booklets, short story collections, um, and all of that stuff is, uh, you can find that. There, uh, drive Through Comics has a slightly smaller selection. drive Through Fiction has an even smaller selection. But it's focused around comics and fiction. But that one has everything. So if anyone that was commenting in this chat and giving me jokes uh, to use on the Flapper Fanny, go look through what what there is on that site. Um, let me know which one or two uh, releases look the most interesting to you. And I will shoot one off to you. There, It's strictly did. did the cup really was empty when I started. Um, it's all digital copies, uh, so in PDF format. Uh, so it should work on any uh, any e-reader or any computer. But it's all it's all digital. And so yeah, you let me know which one you have, but you want. Uh, give me an, an, an email 
that I can send you a download link to, and uh, you shall be rewarded for coming by and giving me comic book suggestions. And this is an actually, I like this one too. You got to know when to hold them. That's a good one. Um, and yeah, Liz, it is a lot easier. That is kind of why I stopped doing just me recording. I only did it like maybe three times, recorded the video and then uploaded it because I found out that even though you guys often get me way off topic and it's not at all what I intended to talk about when I came on, it is, it actually, it's, to me, it's more entertaining to have people interact with and hopefully that means it's more entertaining for the, for you folks out there. And digital, yes, that was the word I was trying to say. Just was not coming out. Wait, uh, wait. There's supposed to be actual topics? Yeah, occasionally I come on with an actual topic <laughs> in mind. And maybe it lasts five minutes. And, <laughs> and we're off to who knows, God, God knows what. Um, but yeah, there's the page I put the link I put the link to. Uh and uh, so the best-selling titles at this very moment are The Love Witch, which uh, comics written by uh, Marv Wolfman. If you're old-time hot you probably recognize that name. The Enchanted Dagger, a guy that stabs people with a magic dagger. And then there's a collection of uh, plot generators where for role-playing game adventures all revolving around murder mysteries, so kind of modern day stuff. And it's called Murder Most Random is the name of that particular booklet. And then there's a whole bunch of others. And there's literally hundreds of things to choose from here. Um, and I'm just about to add a new one. I just need to do a little bit uh, little bit revision on it. And it's uh, the original Blue Beetle is the title of the thing. Oh, yes. And Mystic Moot. Well, Let's uh, spotlight that, shall we? Mystic Moot. This is a book that Stan drew the cover for. And when I get around to... I have another uh, Basil Wolverton collection that I want to get put together uh, revolving around a newspaper reporter. Uh, just crazy pun-laden stuff, just like Mystic Moot. And I'm going to see if I can... Uh, uh, get Stan to draw me a cover for that as well. Uh, I think we already talked about that. I, but I haven't started on it yet because I'm trying to get all the Blue Beetle things done first and maybe another clip art collection. But yes, this is Stan's... And if you haven't been to Stan X, uh, his, his uh, page here on, on YouTube or his website... Uh, or his Facebook page to look at his cartoons, you really need to go look because he does some great stuff. But yeah, Missing Moot, that's one of the books that's available. Uh, let's go with a full-size preview. Although that's not Stan's art, that's Basil Wolverton. So we got table of content. And, and here's the Mystic Moot comics inside. I have heard of a comic book publisher that's called Viz. I think it's Viz. Is it Viz? Yes, it's Viz. And I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure Stan has heard of uh, it is Viz that you do that has you do translations, right, Stan? Or localization, I guess, is a more accurate term. But no, I've not heard of an actual comic called Viz. Let's see. Well, I get Viz Media, which is the parent company of uh, Viz. Uh, well, I guess it is just, what is it now? Is it still, is it, did they rename themselves entirely to Viz Media? Viz Signature and Viz Media over there. So they've got imprints and various uh, uh, <clears throat> um, uh, 
sublines and such. Really? Not even romance comics or Archie or anything like that? Um, wow. I must have had... Uh, I'm sorry, go ahead, Phil. I, I was just going to say, uh, uh, we didn't let our sisters uh, read our comics, but that's just because girls were dumb. So, Because girls were dumb, you said? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> girls are dumb. They won't get it. <laughs> okay. You're going to make me regret doing this, uh, Surrender Monkey, I'm fairly certain. But let's see. And yeah, it's, I, a, I, it's a bad idea. It's a bad well, idea. I've done this. I typed in, I typed in viz, and then I typed in fat and slags uh, pre-populated. So apparently it's a real thing. And yes, I might well regret this. Uh, oh, the fat slags is a British comic strip appearing in the alternative British comic viz. The characters made their debut in 1989. Well, here we go. So you guys can be educated just like me. Yeah. Uh, British Ladette culture. The girls that are what is Ladet culture? It's lad culture I knew, but Ladet, is it girls that are doing lad culture? The fat slags, let's see what the fat slags are. Oh, they don't have any uh fat slags the film. Me saying this open over is gonna get this stream flagged. Um <laughs> So I should stop. <clears throat> it's British slang, Google. We don't, or uh, YouTube. We don't know what it means. <laughs> All right. So these characters are somewhat stupid, although good-natured nymphomaniacs. Trey is marginally more more intelligent than Sam, who is marginally less nymphomatic than Trey. Okay. But, but only marginally. So these are female beavis and buttheads, but they probably score a little more often, or do they never score, and so everybody is gay. They're depicted as overweight, eating large amounts of food, mainly chips, while also having a lot of casual sex. Okay. Oh, they translate what slag means for those who, uh, I mean, okay, maybe I just had the benefit of having spent time over there, but that's not a word that is that unusual, is it? I mean, if you're going to know British slang, you're going to know bloody and you're going to know slag, right? Everybody knows uh, I would think so. Yeah. It's a comic book. The American comic thing is a bit strange. Oh, that there's a publisher named Viz? Yeah, this is a... Oh, here you even say the publisher's name over there is Biz. Huh. I guess uh, somebody must... Good night, Stan. Good night, Stan. Thank you for stopping in. I appreciate it. Thank you for uh, thank you for the jokes. Thanks for entertaining. And, God, what time is it? Oh, all right. Another 10 minutes or so that I'm going to pull the plug, guys. Because, yeah, this, once again, um, oh, my God, no, I got to, yeah, another five minutes. I got to get up early. <laughs> got to get up early. Um, and I've got to be on the freeway, so I have to get up extra early because of traffic. Uh, so, Biz, magazine publisher founded in 79. Uh, notable strips. 
yeah, I guess somebody must have decided there's no mark. There could be a chance of market confusion because uh, I went viz. What's viz? Controversy. The comic was reprimanded by the United Nations after featuring a strip called "Those Thieving Gypsy Bastards." Oops. <laughs> um, Sun ran a story uh, that the principal Roma man initiated complaints against Viz. All right. Uh, Wanker Watson. <laughs> Winker Watson was a strip they're making fun of. That apparently also was caused outrage. I'll have to check this out. It's is already piquing my interest. <laughs> Normally, Stevie would be just slightly off topic by this time. Seems weird. Well, I'm still on the topic of comic strips, and we've kind of wrapped up all the uh, Flapper Fanny. Uh, cartoons. We kept Dan off Dan off the stream, so you know I, I I stay a little more on track. Yeah. Um, a lot more familiar with Viz Manga Comics. Well, yes, um, as am I. I didn't even really I realize there was such a thing as as a Viz magazine in England in 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 Britain, and it's not the publisher. That's, I, that okay. Now it makes more sense. That one page said that Viz was a publisher, and I was thinking, there's no way that the attorneys of this company that all they do is import and translate inter, you know, comics from other countries, mostly Japan. Um, there's no way that they would have set themselves up in business under the name Viz if it already was a publisher. Um, so it's Diamond Publishing under metropolis international is who does that um yeah liz is keeping me uh liz is trying to be the adult in the room and telling me to knock it off and i will i will obey i'll take advantage on this because yes i do need to go to sleep but like i said if you know any of you guys you know want to want a free uh game product or short story collection or comics collection uh, with some game stuff in it, shoot me an email. You know, with the e with the email in there that you want to get the invitation to download whatever product you want. So on that note, we're gonna wrap this up. Thank you, everybody, and uh, sorry for being a couple minutes late, well, ten minutes late. <laughs> uh, let's blame Dan for that, though. Yes. Yeah. Thank you again, as always, for for indulging me. I appreciate it. Oh yeah, Phil, I really pre and I appreciate you coming up because, like uh, Liz said, this is all easier to have someone else to to occasionally banter with. So yes, I I can't type so well, so it's just easier to say it. Okay, <laughs> you're always welcome. Good night, Cap. After I will look up uh, Viz a little bit later. Maybe that's something else else to talk about. Yeah. All right. Good night, night Phil. And good night, everybody.